So we're going to help Winston understand what inverse is. Sometimes when we need to check our work, we will use inverse to help us. So inverse is the opposite operation. So if we are using multiplication, we would check our work using division. Or we could sometimes solve one of the problems using the inverse. If you're not sure how to divide, sometimes you can use multiplication to find the answer. Let's look at how we can do that. So again, we need to know what does Winston know to make sure everyone has the same amount when we're using division. So we have 15 cakes here. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if we were going to use our division, we could set it up on our pyramid. The biggest number always goes on top and our division is going to go on the sides. So 15 divided by five, so we would have five groups, equals, let's see how that works. So 15 divided by five, one, two, three, four, five. So one here, one there, one there, one there, and there, another one there, another one there, another one here, another one here, and another one here. So each group has one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So each group has three in them. So let's say, let's now look and see how we can write this into a number sentence. So 15 divided by five equals three. So let's write it down, 15 divided by five equals three. And we can also do it the opposite way. So 15 divided by three equals five. 15 divided by three equals five. Now we can show our multiplication facts. Five times three equals 15. And what do we know about multiplication? It can be done in any order, commutative property or law. So that means that we can change it around. So three times five equals 15. And you can check to make sure that this is correct by solving that problem using inverse, okay? Now, we're going to look to see how we can solve this problem. So we've got 18 cakes and we are going to divide it by three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18. So let's count how many is in this group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this has 6. Let's count this group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This group has 6. Let's count this group. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, and this group has six. So, eighteen divided by three equals six. Now let's see how we're going to write that out. So, eighteen divided by six equals. 3, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Now let's look at our multiplication. 6 times 3 equals 18 and we know that multiplication can be done in any order so 3 times 6 equals 18 so you have your multiplication facts and you have your division facts. Now you could use your inverse to always check your answer. Okay, so the opposite of division is multiplication. That's your inverse. Now let's look at this division fact. We need to solve and find the answer. 24 divided by 2. So we have 24 cakes here, and we are going to divide them by 2 to find the answer. Okay, so let's make two groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 23, 24. Now, if you're comfortable counting by threes, because this lines up in threes, you can do that. 3, 6, 9, 12. So we have 12 in this group. And 3, 6, sorry, 3, 6, 9, 12 in this group. So 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Let's bring this up a bit so you can see it. Okay, now let's write out our number sentences. So we have 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Then we have 24 divided by 12 equals 2. So 
So what do we know? Now we need to do our multiplication. So 2 times 12 equals 24. And what do we know about multiplication? It can be done in any order. So then we've got 12 times 2 equals 24. So that is how I would like you to do your next task. You're going to use what you know about division and inverse and the commutative law to solve these problems. You can either pick A or B. I would like to see it in the pyramid form that we did previously. And you're going to be successful by knowing the multiples of two, fives and tens, and threes, know how to share equally, and use inverse to check. Good luck.